posted by u slash sam 123786. Imagine having a reverse Yelp, where we rate customers on their attitudes, manners, and how well they tip. What review would you leave? <laughs> nice, pleasant man. Always orders the same sandwich every time, making preparing for him simple despite the complicated sandwich. Tips well. Never talks longer it takes to complete his order. Also, the only male regular over 50 that doesn't leer at my underage Kaoka 5 stars. <laughs> She lied about her hair history, wanted white blonde in one session on her virgin dark hair, that the strand test determined was a lie. Said she could do it herself at home, turned hair orange instead. Came back to get a color correction, and after explaining why she couldn't have blonde she said she'd settle for anything but orange, and lighter than the dark. Gets a beautiful chocolate slash caramel color and cries, because it's not blonde and too expensive, and also leaves no tip zero stars, not worth my time. <laughs> Apparently the basic front desk bell is too complicated of a mechanism to operate for this person. Also demanded that I reduce her rate, because we ran out of complimentary coffee and she couldn't wait the two minutes it would take me to make a new pot. Insulted the housekeepers, two zero stars. <laughs> She walked into the store and complained that outside smelled of petrol. I told her we would address that issue as soon as an employee became available to do so. Customer is apparently unaware they are pumping gas at a gas station when complaining about the scent of gas. Perhaps she could consider not huffing it while filling her tank? <laughs> a customer walked in the front door of my very closed, curbside only pub today and asked if we had any steak. He had to ignore a giant sign saying, please stay outside we will bring your phone slash online order out to you. Zero out of five stars. I almost had a rage stroke. Edited to at, this is the second time he's done it. <laughs> Came on opening weekend of one of the biggest movies of the year five minutes before the showtime, and then was shocked they'd have to stand in line for their concessions. Then complained to management that they missed their movie. Like what did they think was going to happen? Like we'd have a reserved placed in line for them, because of their obvious VIP status as King Doucher Lord of Usland. <laughs> the lady who yelled at me on the second day of my first job over the price of milk can have a solid one star. <laughs> Guy comes in in the middle of the festival, no reservation, by car, and blames me because it took him two hours to go the entrance of the city to my hotel, because there are 200 people walking around the streets and police barrages to help the flow of pedestrians. Then he blames me again, because he did all of this for nothing because we are full. What did he think would happen, walking in with no reservation during the city's largest festival? One star, would not recommend. <laughs> Chap comes into the packed restaurant on Mother's Day. He's mad as hell, because various local roads are shut, and it took him an hour to get here, instead of 10 minutes. Does not have a reservation. Has his whole family with him. His wife breaks down in tears, while he's yelling at me for not posting on Facebook that we are full for lunch. I get the wife and his mother rage in, while he rings restaurants to get a table. They finally leave and the wife hands me a tip. I believe they ended up waiting for a table in Nando's. Zero stars for him. 3 stars for the wife. <laughs> Stupid cunt kept trying to order a cheeseburger without cheese, even though I was trying to save her money by suggesting to instead order a hamburger. Fast forward 30 seconds, and she paid for the cost of a cheeseburger, but without the cheese. I hope she choked on it 1 star. <laughs> Gap. She practically drinks all the salsa, and I keep having to give her refills. Her chip to salsa ratio is seriously questionable. Otherwise, she's nice enough. <laughs> Very polite but also incredibly awkward for some reason. <laughs> this stupid old man threw a tantrum over canned noodles. I told him it was on the shelf, but he insisted there were bags in the boxes on top. I told him the boxes were full of the same canned brand, but he didn't listen and started to cause a scene. I went to get my card with a step stool on it to show him, but he started hitting his cart yelling damn it. I got so angry I ripped the box off the top shelf and can't everywhere. He just said, guess they were cans, and walked off 20 minutes later he comes back and buys the cans 0 tenths. <laughs> Threw a drink at my lead 0 tenths get fucked sideways with a par leaks you fucking afterbirth. 
I work in a non-profit performing arts theater, and despite what people think, canceling shows isn't as easy as saying it's canceled, even if you're producing it. The board has to approve it, including the playwright and director, the unions involves, have to be made aware of the situation, and agree to the plan, and then you have to pay the salaries of everyone involved in full, even though there's no show. It's a long process with a lot of moving parts. And these fucking ungrateful rich folks sitting on their lily white asses keep calling and emailing our call center, where I work, to passive aggressively tell us off for not cancelling shows fast enough, and demanding refunds on tickets slash donations, and then claiming they'll never come again, because we don't care about them and their well-being. Some of them are even straight up racist, and threatening the theater. Rating is minus 10. These low-class fucktits make early 2000s Paris Hilton and THR Kardashians look sane. I've talked about this idea many times. It would be so magical. I greeted the table, and they didn't even look at me, they just said water. So I get their waters and their food order which was difficult, because they asked a million questions that could have been answered by reading the menu, that's what it's there for. Then when I'm trying to deliver the food no one was paying attention and they couldn't remember what they even ordered. They were just overall kind of rude and annoying, but they left 18% so that's better than what I thought they were going to leave 3 fifths stars, can't really recommend. Shout out to the man that doesn't know what the fuck wontons are in a wonton soup and yelled at me for not taking them out even though he only said no noodles, which are not wontons, rather the crackers for the soup. You stupid old man I hope you die I cried in the bathroom asshole. One star. I think so. I was told I have a 5 star, and I've got more than 44 eyes. Probably one guy left me less than that. He got angry that the directions are left him to my daughter's school, it's not a traditional school, saying to ignore Google and enter at the sign didn't mention it wasn't a church. Um, it's not a religious school? There are no churches? Not sure why he would have thought a church would have even come into it, but he was right pissed. He followed googled, he couldn't understand me, when I called him, and said to come on back, so we walked through someone's yard, she used to work at the school, my daughter knows her, and into his car, I mean, he has the address, and what the sign says, and I told him to ignore google's directions, not sure what else I could have done for him, but he was angry at me, whatever, he's the only one I can think, of who might have left a less than stellar review. I wish I could leave a review on drivers who cancel on me. Got to the school, saw my dog who I had messaged him about, and even though he had said he was fine with dogs he said no and drove away. Had to call another car. Zero out of five stars. Started out okay, but interaction quickly declined. When customer was mildly inconvenienced by new guidelines put in place due to an ongoing global pandemic. Should have spoken to manager about abysmal behavior. Lost faith in customers as a brand, won't be using again, until my bosses make me, because their money is more important than my safety. If I'm essential how, come they get to treat me like freshly churned peacock shit. Zero tenth stars, horrible idea, massive design flaws. <laughs> Family came into the restaurant today, and order a good amount of sushi rolls and some chicken hibachis. There was no problem with their payment or their demeanor at first, but be careful. Looks can be deceiving. As soon as we provided their kids with forks, they started flinging rice at each other. Parents didn't even bat an eye, like this was a normal thing, so I'm sure they have done this at other places too. They left the area around them looking like the kids were playing Splatoon, and trying to cover as much surface area as they could with rice. Didn't leave a tip for the mess I was left to clean up, and didn't even give an apology. Would not recommend serving this family while their inklings are around. Thank you for watch. Have a great day and don't die.